Okay. So um, that's a circle because you have two square terms that are both the same sign and the same coefficient. Second with an ellipse, um, two square terms, both the same sign but different coefficients, that's an ellipse. That's what we can classify. The Euclidean definitions again, circles have all points equal to a fixed point, the fixed point being the center, that distance being the radius. Ellipse have all points such that the sum of the distance, some of the distances from two fixed points is a constant. Those two fixed points are the fo foci. And so um, if you were to measure the distance from a point on the ellipse to one focus and to the other and add those two segments, that sum will always be a constant, which actually is 2a. Um, How do you um, intersect a plane with a double nap cone to get each of these shapes for a circle? Make sure the plane's parallel to both bases. Then that cross section will be a circle. If you do it at an um, angle through the body of the cone or uh, that's not parallel, that would be an ellipse, just so you know. Okay. Uh, the part that I kind of care about the most is let's write the equation in vertex form and then let's actually graph them and then let's actually find the points of intersection. After I finish this problem, then you guys can use the rest of the class to work and I'll also do the homework quiz in the last 10 minutes. So how do I write this in um, standard form? Uh, let's rearrange like this. Plus 2y. Okay, what's half of 4 then squared? 4. What's half of 2 squared? That's easy. How about the other one? You're going to do four. I'm just going to just kind of skip a step. I'm going to pull the four out from right like this. And the other one is just y squared plus 2y. And the other uh, side is what, 11? Okay. Does it make sense so far? I know I skipped a couple steps. I pulled the four out between 4x squared and negative 8x. And combine the x's and y's. And then what um half and two in squared? But you really add a four, right? And half of that squared, yeah, it really added one. I promise you the numbers will work out nice. I'm not gonna be a monster. That'd be terrible. Because the nasty decimals will won't make it nice. And then what should I do after that? If I was 16, right? Ah, geez. Space here. Oh, I'm going to recopy the circle. Okay, now let's graph. Negative two, negative one is my center, right? My race is five. And don't worry, I'll give you more practice like this. Um, I have more, trust me, I taught, I taught this class for almost a decade, so I got lots of problems here. Okay, and where's the um, center of the ellipse? One, negative one. And uh, you have to go left two, right two, up four. How many, how many times do you think these guys touch? Yeah, three times. So, the important characteristics, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious.
I'm here. That's your center. Your vertices are one comma three, I think. And one comma negative five. Your co-vertices should be uh, three comma negative one. And negative one comma negative one. Your foci, your c squares, um, your c is two root three, because your c squares root 12. So you go two root three above and below the center. Okay. Does that make sense? I got this for party. E. Okay, the last bit is part F, which I'll just do up here because I'm out of space. So I want you to solve this algebraically. So let me let me rewrite the equations one more time. X squared, and that's what you guys are going to be doing the nine point seven homework. Well, I think I should subtract these two equations. Yeah, you get rid of y, squ uh, y squared and y. Yeah, so that's kind of a clever way of... Uh... Because those cancel and those cancel. Factor out three. I'm moving to the right side, so I just did that instead. And that factors very nicely, right? So what does x equal? One or three. Um, so now, I could plug in um, one for X and three for X to solve for the Y values that go with them. Yeah, I'm on F, yeah. I need some space here. You will, watch. You will. Yeah, when X equals one, You'll have one plus y squared plus four plus two y equals 20. So you should get one comma negative five, which the graph shows, and one comma three. And then also, when x equals three, you should get nine plus y squared plus 12 plus y equals 20. So it's two y, my bad. Caught myself there y squared plus 2y plus 1 equals 0. So y equals negative 1. So you also have 3 common negative 1 is another point. And those are your three points of intersection. So that's what you guys work on today. The solving of a bunch of systems like this. Just getting a lot of practice, kind of drill and fill and things like that. So that's, that's 9.7 homework. And then the rest of the homework is going to be this uh, practice uh, old test here. Um, obviously, I did all number one for you guys. So you have two, three, four, 
five, six. Ooh, seven's a good one. And it's a good one too. So, and I don't have the answer key for this. I'll make the answer key in a little bit, just so you guys have it. Um, and yeah, that's all. So, you, so these costs of work, we get 11 o'clock. So around like 10, 45, 10, 50, so I'll give you guys a homework quiz. The rest of the class is doing this. So it's up to you, you guys can start that. If you wanna work more on this, go for it. If you really feel like you wanna do like this little test, go for it. Uh, or if you wanna go back and uh, to the homework pack and do 9.7, that's fine too. Uh, but you guys have plenty of practice. So there's no way you can get all this done in class today. That's, that's not gonna happen, but um, but definitely you'll have a chance to do some stuff for the weekend, so. Yeah, just let's work out. So it's a work period, guys. Let's work.